Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you what I used to do uh, the painting today. You do not have to use what I use, you can use you know whatever you have on hand. If you're going to do the colored pencils obviously you'll have to get some colored pencils. Um, the paint I use is uh, Adirondack acrylic paint dabbers from Ranger. If you can find a paint that's matte, that works fine. Blick has some matte acrylic paints. Um, the only problem with the Blick that I found was the dark color like this one. It bled when I put a varnish over it, which I did not uh, like so much. You could sp maybe spray seal it first and then put a glaze over it or just spray seal it. But I don't have that problem with these. I they're a little more expensive, um, but I just really, really like them, and I use a ton of them. I ordered these from Joann's. You could, I think you can order from Ranger too, but Joann.com has, has all of these, and usually, if you're in the U.S., you can get free shipping usually if you order a certain amount, and sometimes they have them on sale. They're... Uh, I think $3.49 each. But like I said, you don't have to use these. You can buy these dabber tops. Uh, they are a ranger, a ranger thing. I think it's three for a couple dollars. And you could put them, I think they'll fit on top of the, the Blick ones. I think they'll also fit, gosh, I can't remember which one it is. One of the craft paints at uh, Michael's is matte. Just make sure it's matte. If it's glossy, the colored pencils are not going to stick to it. You can put a clear gesso over it, but when you use the colored pencils, sometimes the gesso tends to flake off. Uh, and it's, it's not always fun. It's kind of a pain. But, you know, just try it. I would try it on some paper and see how it goes. The colors I'm using today, I'll make a list for everybody, but I will show you what I'm using. I'm using the cranberry, watermelon, terracotta, butterscotch, juniper, which I've used a lot, <laughs> uh, clover, and pool. Let's see what else. We're also going to be using our colored pencils. I I only use the Prismacolor Premier pencils. I've tried other pencils. They're really hard. I, I haven't tried them all. You may have a favorite that you like. These ones, they're very soft. They, it's a soft core. Um, I don't remember if they're wax. Uh, what they're made of, but um, they're they're so nice. They blend really nice. I love them. They can be a pain when you sharpen them. They break a lot, but I think they're worth it. Don't drop them or <laughs> it's all over. They just break all the way down the middle and it's a pain. I did hear you can microwave them. Um, maybe 10 or 15 seconds and that's supposed to heal the middle. I, I don't know for sure if it works, but, you know, you could give it a shot. I pulled out, I don't know if we'll use all these, but it's likely. These are all the colors that I, I use normally. I use them on most of my stuff. Um, and I will have a list for you of what I use and what I actually, what I use all the time and what I actually used on this piece. I'll make sure and keep note of that. Besides the colored pencils, I also like to use these Sharpie paint pens. They're the water-based and extra fine point. I really like these. I don't use a ton of it on my painting, but um, specifically the white, I really love it. And I will show you that. You can also just use regular white paint. You don't have to use the Sharpie paints. I, If you're going to do that, I have a rigger brush. 
I just learned that it's called a rigor brush. It's uh, what I use for eyelashes and um, the hair lines when you're making your lines. Really, It's just for really skinny lines, really fine lines. And I really like to use this. Um, I have a few other brushes uh, that we may use. I'm not sure if we'll need them, but I have them. This one we'll probably use to fill in the hair before we color pencil it. Oh, and her dress. Uh, we will be painting a little bit on her dress. And this is, you, you don't have to use this one. You could use whatever you want. This one's a quarter inch angular shader, it says. Um, let's see. And then, um, when I color on my wood, when I draw my face, it's pretty hard to see if you're on dark colors. And it's kind of a pain. If you, I, I, I draw it on with graphite pencil. If you wanted to, you could use, let's see, hold on. I have, they have these color erase uh, Prismacolor pencils that you can, you know, well, it doesn't show up here, but when you have your your paint on here and you draw on it, you can, it is erasable. And this might be easier to see if you've got some dark colors underneath. So there's that. And my, I love this little eraser. It's the one I used more than the one in the last video that broke. It's got a little teeny tiny eraser on it. We'll also be needing some black acrylic paint. This is just a super cheap paint that I probably got at Walmart or maybe Michael's. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't even think it matters if this is flat, flat or not. I think I'm pretty sure this is flat. It looks flat, but just regular black paint, and that'll be for details. Uh, you will need a spray bottle for water. Um, I couldn't find my spray bottle, so I used this old one. It works really good. Just a regular spritzer bottle with water will work. Also, uh, I'll be using a gloss varnish. For the technique I'm doing today with my background, I like it glossy because it really pops the colors out, and you'll see after we start working on it why. And this is Liquitex Gloss Varnish. It's not super glossy. It's, I don't know, it's more satin. It's not super glossy. I guess that depends on how many coats you put on. I also recommend a workable fixative. If you're going to color your dress or, or a large part of your uh, piece with the colored pencils or the colored pencil sticks in a red or a black or a dark blue. They tend to smear when you put on varnish. So I would put a workable fixative over it first before um, before varnishing it. You could just use this if you put enough coats on it gets glossy anyway. That's fine too. Uh, and I'll I'll go over all that when we start our piece. These, excuse me, these are the art sticks I use. They are the exact same stuff that's inside your Premier colored pencils. And they're just the sticks. This is the largest set they have. They don't have all the colors, which is a bummer. But they do have enough colors. And I most likely will just be using black today. Other paintings I have done the, the backgrounds with like this or or some sort of blue but we'll probably just be needing a black and that's it's uh, nice to have the sticks so you don't have to color for for ages and ages let's see um, and then your piece of wood it if you're not comfortable on wood you don't have to do it on wood you could do it on I use 140 pound Strathmore watercolor paper, the 400 series, on all my other colored pencil stuff. Um, but today I'm going to show you how I do it on wood. This piece, 
I think it's cherry. I could be wrong because it had said it was cherry on here, but that could have been the stain color. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. If you have a super, super hard wood, it's a little harder to do. Just, uh, I will help you along the way and show you how I did it. This piece is almost four inches by 17 inches. Um, so we're going to do a tall skinny painting today. You don't have to do that. You can have any size wood you've got, you know. I find tons of wood on Craigslist for free. Um, cabinet doors for free. Um, sometimes people have scrap piles of extra wood that they have from projects. They get rid of them on there. You are going to want to sand your piece of wood. If it's got varnish on it, you really need to sand it because the it just makes it easier for the paint to scrape off and you you really don't want to have to deal with that. It's a pain. It's fixable, but you know, why ha why fix it if you don't have to? You can use either side. Um, this this piece is the exact same wood and I used this side. I don't know. It's just some stain that they had on it. I think this side is stained too, but it's a light stain. Anyway, <laughs> That's pretty much it. You might want some paper towels. Um, I have an embossing gun because I'm impatient and like stuff to get dry fast. Um, I think that's it. So I'll see you in the next video.